hey, Don Copeland here, and I got a new toy. So we got to do a video on it, all right? So there's going to be a lot of really good stuff coming out in videos in the next couple of weeks. But we got this thing in, got it set up, actually shot video last week on how to take it out of the box, get it all set up. And uh, late Friday, I got the drivers and everything working on it. And guess what? Playing with it today. So I wanted to show it off to you. This is the next generation of our uh, relationship with MUTO. And uh, this is the MUTO Expert Jet 461 uh, UF. Uh, as you may have noticed, we, we had the 426 uh, UF, which was a value jet machine. And this is the next generation machine up. Let me show you a little bit of the differences, then we're going to print something on it and give you an idea what it's all about. All right, let's start with some of the, the basic things when you look at it from the outside. It's a little bit taller than the, uh, the old value jet 426 was. It's uh, black instead of like a, an off-white. Uh, much bigger window here for viewing so you can see your, your print area better. An incredible control panel that only gives you the options that are available to you. It's very intuitive control panel. You've got this big stripe right here to tell you whether it's something is going on or not. Red means something's happening. Green means it's in a state where it's okay, ready to go. The, the media height sensor door, much, much uh, wider. And for those of us who may have a, a couple of extra pounds on the front of us, you don't have that to bump into with your belly. So it falls down. Easier to use knob. There's also an option for a crank that you can use. It gives, gives you a quicker up and down with the bed. Right here you have a control. This is actually a measurement in millimeters. The height of the bed is being set at. While we're talking about the height of the bed, let me pop the door open here. All of this is extra depth. On the 426 previous model, we only had 2.75 inches of depth. With the, the new 461, we have a full 5.91 inches of depth. You can remove this. You use this for your shorter items, say 2.75 and down in width. Anything higher than that, you go ahead and remove that bed and you're working off the bed below it. Like I said, it's just a much cleaner, nicer shape to it. Shock absorbers here on the, to hold the door up. Gives you a lot more access in here without having to worry about the door falling down. And though you can't really tell it, the light controls, the LED lights on this machine are just amazingly different. They have the ability to be controlled at a much higher level so that they're not just set at one intensity the entire time they're running. They have the ability to control locally the lights. And uh, we'll, we'll show some videos in the future of that, but basically we're able to control the clear so you can get both a matte and a gloss finish in one pass through the machine. Prior to this, and with all other UV machines, if you're looking for that to happen, you would have to run a separate second pass to get a different type of finish to your clear. Oh, I got how to hit set media. See here, it tells me set media, I got a flashing green light. It tells me exactly which key to press. I'm going to go back, check the height of my media. It's really quiet when it's operating too. I like that. All right, done. Here we go, getting ready to print. All right, we're done there. Let's pull this out and uh, see what we got. Oh, it's pretty sticky. This sticky mat, which comes standard with the, this. This is another difference. The uh, sticky mat that comes with the 461 is included. This is a Clima mat. Gives you a great hold down, great place you can print outlines on to set things on to mark. An amazing print. That's a bi-directional print, by the way, y'all. That is not the best quality it'll do, but it's still pretty dadgum good. That's it. That's Don Coben with the newest toy in the house, the 461UF by Muto.